basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan and Peter Alder. Where are you going? The as well. it's the show um, the I'll take a sandwich. Turkey sandwich or whatever. Do they make those there? Do they make turkey sandwiches there? Oh, okay. Well, I'll take a sushi then. The little uh, tuna with the, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they got, you know, the make those little rolls, California rolls. Yeah, the California Yeah, the tuna, tuna with the, the crunch. Tuna crunch, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Well, you have to be able to trust each other on the defensive end of the floor, otherwise the whole thing is just going to crumble. This guy is so tough to guard, he feels like he can take any challenge that the defense is going to throw at Kicks it to Pierce. He feeds it to Moncrief. Pass to King. Pierce, Pierce, down to five on the shot clock. And that one drops for him. Pierce has got his first bucket in this one. Back to Bond Dexter. Off to a good start as he gets his first shot attempt. Offense clicking early here. Three for four to start this one. They set the pick. Knocks it loose. From 11 feet away, that one rolling around and runs out. Those are the types of looks that he, he got to finish deep in the paint and limited defensive effort. Back to King. Out to Mongrief. Rocket six. There's the pass to King. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Pierce. And Ricky Pierce gets it to fall. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. And here are the Bulls now, trailing by two. And slammed down by Jordan. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there? It just gets to the rack really easy. Armstrong against Von Look loose. He said in the loss, we were static, overthinking each time on the floor. 
I prefer a more free-flowing approach to my piece. We'll see if that extra freedom offensively works out, Kevin. Back to you. Nice job, David. Thanks. So, guys, they're focusing on the offensive end here early. And that means we could be in for a good one. If they really do execute like Coach wants them to, this could be a high story. Okay. Concentrating on offense doesn't mean fast break or open court action. Sometimes it's just about running plays and getting the best possible shot with each possession. And the Bucks with possession. The Bulls getting the puck. Prescott dishes the mark. Messi with the grip pass, and that's his game. The Bulls leading by seven. Passes it to Lister. Inside, Pond Dexter, and it's Jim with the rebound. And you gotta give him credit there. Great effort to contest that shot. So I love the fact that they put the security system on their house, protecting the paint there. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Milwaukee making a switch. Williams just checked in. Then for the Bulls, no problem. He's checked in for us. Williams comes in for Quincy Bondage. And puts him subbed in for Scotty Bell. Five on the clock. Terrific inside finish by Moncrief. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. Oh, jam. Oh, I mean, just beautiful. Wow. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game. Ouch, oh, Frank. That is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. Maybe even a question mark. Here's first one. Oh. Oh. Took it there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Feeds it to Moncrief. Off target from outside. The Bulls leading by seven. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Person. The kick out to Williams. Tires from the corner. Person no good. In the corner, Presley with it. And that's good. Nice job in the glass as they pick up two. Right back after this break. Hey, Kevin, what do you think? All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not? Bucks trail by five. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all filled up and ready to go. Let's be set up. Taking a look at the bowl. They've got Caspi. Lester is out there with Kerbuck. It's Michael Jordan. And it's Ward into the one. Caspi with the bucket. Oh, a little punch, counter punch action. Neither side flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. Oh, it's the screen. On creep up top. That's depressing. Four on the clock. They turn over the 24 second buzzer, signaling a shot clock violation. And the Bucks making a change here. Davis has checked in. The Bulls leading by five. Caspi passes to Jordan. From 12 feet out. No good from Caspi. For Chicago, they won their last contest. Oh, they won Charlotte. And Jordan sends it back. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Here's Preston. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Backcourt violation. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Or the pass to Jordan. Pick by Cartwright. Here's Caspi. And finish with two hands. And how about the execution on that play? The screen was set up in exactly the right spot. And the finish wasn't too bad either. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how you see so many picks, but this one sets up the defense well. No one rotates over. Hey. And with the ball out of bounds, Jordan touched it last. Here's Preston, the dish to Moncrief. The Bucks working the ball around. Just five on the clock. Here's Davis. 
Cartwright using his tremendous length to cramp the ball. Down low. And Caspi has it in the corner. with the rebound. Not sure what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can kill a four to get a five by him. That goes up. Has out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Joining us for almost two and a half minutes in the second quarter. Shot clock at five. The Bucks need to get a shot off here to Linovic from outside. And that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. This is what his game is about. Linovic, a catch and shoot player. Here is Cartwright. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. Cartwright's got his first two points. Forcing the ball inside. It's working like a shot. There's a good screen. Sidney Moncrief on the wing. Outside, Davis. Loose. And he lines up with the rim. And Brewer kicks to Moncrief. And they double up Davis to the inside. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And great nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. Well, it fires up your teammates and the fans when you make plays like that out in the open court. An explosive. Coming, Chase checked in for Milwaukee. And the Bulls making a change also. Pippins checked in. Here's the screen. So what if it's the screen? Jump ball, jump ball, jump ball! You too! Got a piece of it, and Milwaukee has possession. Don't leave Pressy open on the wing! Jordan against Pressy. He dishes it to Toledovich. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain the possession. Now here's coming. Not a lot of room. Just four to shoot. That's tipped. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. And there's Jordan. That's good on the assist by Pippen. And now it's a 12-point Bulls lead. Bell Sid with it. He's got six. First trip to the line for him here. First one falls for him. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He talks so much about rhythm from the field. How about a rhythm from the free throw line? That looks good. Sure. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. The Bulls have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Jordan nails both of them. Bucks trail by 12. Tolodovich, the screen. Knocked away. In transition, here come the Bulls. A nice shot by Jordan. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. Guys, he can't miss, I swear. He was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss. And that's how the Bucks go up and over 10 possession. Here's his check in for Davis. Second, Moncrief kicks to Toledovich. Back to Moncrief. No oh, good with the triple. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 17 to 5 run. It's Pippen with the drive, and he banks in the layup. Pippen's got his third basket of the night. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Here's Moncrief. 
Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. That screen made it impossible for the defense to put up any kind of fight. Pass to Lister. Jordan against Cressy, and it's stolen by Moncrief. And the bucket counts. Three point chance. That's good. And have not had as much success in the three one this quarter. Everything has been from the perimeter. The Bucks shoot their third free throw shot of the game. The Bucks making a switch here. Markeski's checked in. Free throw good. Press. 55 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Pippen, and the seven foot McKeski clears the glass. Dishes to Pierce. Pressy kicks to Moncrief. Rolls not loose. There's a good screen. And here's the fast break. Armstrong gets the bucket, and the Bulls lead by 14. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And a jam by Terry Cummings. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Have a look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Kept alive, Pippen, and there's the bucket. Stick with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Pippen's got four points this point. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. Well, that's the second part of the equation there. Block out, be aggressive, and control the glass. First half, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. This is the halftime report. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? They've done a lot of things well, but the way they've taken care of the basketball, valuing each possession so critical to the tempo, so crucial to the offensive flow. They've got a great rhythm, as smart and as safe as they're playing. They made it clear they're not going to beat themselves today. Man, you, big fella. Let's get your thoughts on the Back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Here's Moncrief. They've got King. Pierce is out there with Cummings. Then it's Moncrief, and it's Percy in the shooting guard position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. No hesitation at all on the alley. You saw his team with a pass to the hoop, and bang! Lobbed it right up there, formed the finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Here's Moncrief. That's another one for him. It is fifth in just seven shots. This guy is looking for some life preservers. He needs more help. He's playing well, but his teammates have to pick up the slack here. A nice shot by Pondexter. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. There's a screen. Moncrief dishes to Pierce. Basketball just over a minute played so far. And stolen by Jordan. He's all alone. Here's Lister. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Yes. Lister's got seven points. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively to turn it into easy points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Moncrief. Moncrief with the overpowering slam dunk finish. And at full speed, he still has the world call to get himself in good position. Yeah, the snap decisions right there, reading the situation on the move and then making the right choice. Pondex for no good. Bucks trail by 10. And here's Moncrief. An official small traveling violation. Really, it's about valuing the possession. It seems like he's trying to manufacture outfits out there rather than just letting the play develop. 
Pippen kicks to Barnett. Drops in the tray. High points in the game so far. Now he's torching the D right now, hitting a high percentage of all the shots. Time out, time he's out. Fly. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Right. And one thing they'll discuss are their defensive rotations. And the other is in the matchup. We're seeing very little help defense on the inside. And even when there is help, it's been ineffective. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Cummings passes to Mike. Six on the shot clock. The seven-footer Lister is there for the rebound. But only the first miss of the second half. They come out here. Oh, oh, oh. Grab it out of half. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get out the Lister. I mean, we got a hot dog in the house. Oh, baby, slam it down. If I didn't see that for myself, I might not have believed it. Bounds in Chicago Games possession. Here's a tournament that just checked in for the box. Here's Jordan. He's got 20. Got a piece of it. Tolanovich dishes the pressy. They get a hand on it. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. To the inside. Blister. That's good. Lister's got nine. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Tolanovich, the screen. Hands on the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. And the Bucks with possession here. 17 point game. And, and maybe that will trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Chicago leading by 15. Here's Pippen. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, great. He can get up a few notches higher. Here's Pierce. A shot. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Moncrief picking him up with the textbook defensive crunch. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Sidney Moncrief. Bulls shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. No good on the free throw. Brad, if your team won't be competing for a championship, talk about the balance between giving your first round picks or, or young players the playing time they need to develop against making them earn their minutes. That's a very fragile movement back and forth. I agree, Kevin. It's such a, a tight rope to walk because you don't want to upset veterans on your team who still want to go out and compete on a nightly basis. And you also want to make sure that your rookies just aren't opening the door for them to go out and do whatever it is they want to do on the floor because of your team's situation. So I think that's where the communication between the coach and the staff and how it is that the player is developing. You just don't dole out the minutes for that player's progression. And Pressy gets it to go. 129 left in the third quarter. Pierce with the steal. Now the Bucks moving it up. Here's the four, and that's two points on the way. Dressy's got nine. We'd love to see the result from an offensive player after a disappointing first half. He's been terrific here in the second half. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Bucks trail by 18. There's the pick. He kicks to Moncrief. Out left of the wing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's the double team with Pippen. Five on the clock. They get a hand on it for three. Pierce. Chicago grabs the miss. Outside Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Kicks to Casper. Michael, Michael, Michael. Bulls moving the ball around. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Here's Ward. No good. Shot missing. Some solid defense from Moncrief. A 
puts up a three, and that one is off. Caspi, that shot off, and so is Chicago with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back to the action after this quarter. Here in the fourth quarter, the scoreboard tells the story of this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. The Bulls leading by 18. So for Chicago right now, they've got Pippen. Lister is out there at Lister. Then there's Quincy Pondexter, and it's Ward into the point. Three-pointer, Pondexter. A three-pointer is right on target. Pondexter's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Bulls. So it hits the screen. There's the pick. Pressy kicks to Moncrief. And Spears in the corner. Four on the shot clock. Ball's not loose. Down low, Lister. Second chance effort. Basket, good. And every offensive board is an extra possession. If you're trying to compete from this far down, you cannot allow that. Yeah, second chance points are demoralizing, especially after you worked hard to get the stop in the first place. Now the pass to Lister. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Two shots. Over the decades, the Elbow. way the league has grown Two. phenomenal, due in no small part to the leadership. Brett, what are some of the key traits you've seen of these two great NBA commissioners? I think the one thing about both David Stern and Adam Silver that they have done a great job with is that they're approachable. There, there doesn't seem to be a time, at least in an NBA player's career, where they don't feel like they could either call the office and within maybe a day or two hear from somebody from the league office. But the fact that both David Stern and Adam Silver find their way out to arenas throughout the regular season, come to see every team, that approachability, I think, far and away sets those two gentlemen aside. Cummings can't hit. Jordan against Cressy, the drive by Jordan, goes up and lays it nice and easy. Jordan's got 22 points. They are just killing him on the interior. Oh, 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 oh. Big substitution here for Milwaukee. Drew Brees checked in for Cummings. Davis comes in for Pierce. Davis is checked in for Pressy. And Jones sucked in for Moncrief. Davis sets a screen. Six to shoot. Jones, the pass to McKesson, and he gets it to go. No defender is going to have a shot against that kind of play. He's just too tall to stop that close to the rim. Jordan, the screen. Shot's good by Pippen. Pippen's got nine points now in just the second half. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. That is an era of shorter player contracts, sometimes without doubts, after one or two years. Does that breed too much of a win-now mentality among teams? Well, so shorter contracts, Kevin, but taller players? Yeah, exactly. You got it. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's interesting the way that teams want to set themselves up. Obviously, if you have a bona fide star, you want to do what you can to lock him up and have him as part of your organization and the concrete and the foundation for what you do moving forward. But a lot of guys certainly on the move and on loan for seasons where they want to take a shot at the true contender. Or the pass to Jordan. Shoots. Second chance effort. McCray kicks to Jordan. Passes to Ward. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got his sixth assist on the night. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from this. And no question, it looks like they've rented out the room along the perimeter in this ball game. And they're likely to keep doing this until the defense makes an adjustment. Davis with it. He's picked up by Pippen. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to turn it down and they end up giving up a lot of free throws here. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Here's Chicago. They're on a 14-4 run. And they're by Jordan. Oh, 
bitch. Put some anger behind that one. You're telling me. And so it's Milwaukee now. Outside, Jones. Hey, Brent, when you look at the all-star balloting, it's amazing how many worthy point guards have to be left off the roster. How'd the league end up with so many great players at that position uh, all at once? It's, it's an amazing story. It has been an incredible crop. I mean, really, the golden era of point guards. And the, the one guy who I feel really badly for over the course, certainly, of the last five or six seasons is one Mike Conley. Any coach in the league would take Mike Conley at the drop of a hat, yet he's dealing with, over the course of his career, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Tony Parker, Steve Nash, Chauncey Billups, Chris Paul. Should I go on, guys? It is a very, very tough position. Sean Jones says it all. shots and taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. that's something they gotta fix while the defense has been good a lot of these turnovers have been unforced Davis against Pippen just five to shoot back to Davis the three rebound by the Bulls Lister's got his fourth rebound in this one and some nice ball movement here by Chicago Outside Pippen. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Jones in the post. A shot's good for Mokeski. Coaching staff high-fiving themselves there, watching that team move the ball around, doing whatever is best for the team. And they double up Jordan. Pass to Lister. Now here's Jordan, covered by Brewer. The drive by Jordan, and it's Jordan with the jam. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, your defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. It's tipped. Or the pass to Pippen, and it's Pippen with the jam. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. No, terrific anticipation using the hands. How are you not protecting the basketball in that situation? And they double up Jordan to the paint. Here's Ward, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Yes. And saving their best for last. Tremendous run here to seal the win. And you can just see everything coming together like a perfect storm, and they just rolled on through. Pass to Mokeski. He feeds it to Brewer. Milwaukee, no good that time. And either. Chicago calls timeout. They're up by 36. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what's your take? Now that you can tell there's some bad blood here, they're just rubbing it in now by calling a timeout. Or could be just wanting to execute well down the stretch. Don't want to leave any room for chance. here in the fourth. Here's Person. And the Bulls get it back for three. Bangs on the trifecta. Boy, this final period, they are putting up a ton of shots from D. Yeah, and making them. Once you get into this kind of rhythm with the three ball, it is so difficult for the defense to do anything about it. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the league they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to be <laughs> playing at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge.
This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long.